All right, hey guys, so I'm getting to fire alarms and such, and today we're going to be doing an overview of my brand new panel, a Notifier AFP200 Intelligent Fire Detection and Alarm System Control Panel. So here is the outside of the panel. You can see it is <clears throat> quite smaller compared to my 4010 and SK5208. It only has side knockouts, which kind of sucks when I'm surface mounting, so I had to go wires up, but it's a nice matte black finish with then the blue front and then the window so you can see actually inside of the panel. If we go ahead and open it up, you can see it's got a nice faceplate or a dress panel, my bad, with basic operating instructions and keystrokes to get into different menus of the panel. At the panel itself, you have your alphanumeric keypad and then your directional arrows and enter. And we have our acknowledge alarm silence fire drill and system reset button along with your indicator lights as long uh, with a four line lcd screen and you can see i was able to put in a custom label so i put in the custom label of fire alarms and such notifier afp 200. if you guys want to see custom uh, labels put in for that second line i'll be changing out notifier afp 200 every now and then because i can put in custom labels and then behind the dress panel, I don't know why I didn't think to not take this off, but you undo the screws at the top. And da 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 da, here is the actual Notifier AFP 200 fire alarm control panel. I know my battery hookup's janky. Um, I have a cable coming on the way. So, here's the actual board. Up here you got your resettable and non-resettable 24 volt power. These are your NAC terminals, NACs one through four. These are your three relays. You have your supervisory, your alarm, and your trouble. Then you have computer communications, announce your communications, and your SLC loop. Down here you got your 120 volt with your circuit breaker your plug your transformer and then battery terminals not a whole lot else happening inside so we will put this back on maybe cool beans that wasn't that hard and then we will screw it back on so if you notice i did have to move around a couple of boxes and stuff for the panel since there was originally stuff here and well now there isn't so the original 0.8 for my simplex panel i just shifted over the original 0.7 for my simplex panel is up here above my stopper um the what was this over here the key switch for my silent night panel i moved over there and then brought the silence button down to that red button there and then we have new pull station there. So that is point one on my panel. That key switch is point four. You'll see what that does in a second. Then we got a notification appliance spot. This is a four wire spot for horn and strobe and got my commander three at 30 candela coded temporal through the panel. So that's NAC one. And the NAC two over here is another four wire spot. And I have my commander three up here at 30 candela code three mechanical horn coded through the panel. If then we come over here, we got a two wire strobe only spot up here and it's my commander two at 75 candela. And then over here, we moved a couple things around. I moved the key switch over and took out that piece of conduit because really I didn't need it there. Um, and then there's a new pole here, which is point three. And then point two is all the way over here now. There is a new pull station over here and that is point two. And that is my notifier nbg 12 l there will be once i actually get smoke detectors there will be a smoke detector here right in line with the panel like the other two are and then in here there will be another smoke detector probably right along here where i may even bring it back more over there I'm not totally sure yet and then it's a hot mess wires back here because i'm not done uh, wiring yet like all this is going to be tucked away and then put in conduit and i just haven't done that yet so a couple of changes was 
you may have seen it on eBay, but there was a lot of fire alarm gadgets is what it called it. And it had a whole bunch of these I am face plates in it. So I got those so you can actually see now they blink and are happy. And then there's one more down there with the door holder. And this is stuff to clean up. This is where all my knacks uh, come in. This is where if I have a module, like one of the sink modules, that will go there for this panel. And it's just a hot mess wiring. I wanted it done and I'll fix it up later. And here, this is your SLC disconnection switch, just like I have with my IDNet disconnect switch when I'm servicing the panel. So we don't have to completely power it down to lose programming. And then in here, there are four of the Notifier MM X-101 adjustable mini modules. So there are four of those in there. And I think that's it. Yeah, all this is going to be tucked up in conduit kind of like that. And it'll look a lot better. This was just temporary. I gotta actually go out and buy some conduit. But that's that. So, going back to that key switch. Along with that lot that I got, I got a whole bunch of air product controls relays. And what the external relays allow me to do is control devices that go up to 120 volts. So, I used one of those coming off of my panel. Oh, right, there's a dress panel. But I went from my auxiliary power into my relay and then relay out to a secondary relay. And when the relay on this closes, it causes the relay up here in the soffit to close. And that will turn on a big fan. And it will help clear out smoke from the area. It's pointed at my detectors and stuff, so that will help clear out smoke from the area. So what this key switch does is because only my notifier panel will activate the fan in a fire. And the fan will only work if the uh, light switch is on. I have it hooked up to my lighting circuit because I was going 120 volts so I could tap into up there. But because this notifier panel is the only panel that will actually activate the fan, I put in a supervisory key switch here because I got a couple of these brand new in box. If you want one, I have one on my eBay. Brand new, never opened in box. Key included. Great condition. What will happen is if I turn this switch to test, the light will come on and the fan will kick on and then the panel will go into supervisory. But I think before we do that, we should actually pull a fire alarm. Let's do that. Here we go. And we will go ahead and silence, and because they are four wire devices, they can continue to strobe. Fan continues to go on alarm, silence light comes on. So normally, you know how I like to save time and I'll put a reset in the panel before I reset the pull station. This panel resets really quickly. Oh crap. Um, so I don't have time to reset a pull station in the time it takes the panel to reset. So we'll put our key in and reset that. And I gotta find my notifier key. So I have it in a really awful spot on my key ring. Um, I have to put a little rubber cover on it. And then to reset, you just press and hold the system reset button for really however long you want. It does a lamp test on the panel. Then you reset. It will turn off the strobes and you can see the fan is now turning off and it will boot up and then give us our system all normal message. So I think that what we'll do real quick just to test the other two points is we will put it into walk test and you can see it will give me a trouble because I'm now in programming mode. So we will put in yeah no, our password then we'll go to six for walk test and we will do enter to start. And then we can Go ahead and walk test, and this will not activate the fan. So we can pull point two. Okay. 
and it will just sound the horn strobes for a little bit. Um, we can go ahead and actually test the simplex station so you can see what the panel looks like when it goes into walk test. And you can see it does nothing special in walk test. It just sits there and says walk test. And then back over here, we will test the Faraday station. I'm blanking on the model number right now. It's my newer Faraday one. Oh my God, why am I so terrible? All right, so my phone thought it would be hilarious to say, oh, you have no more storage left on your phone. And I'm like, why is that? And then I just remembered I recorded a 10 minute video in 4K. So that was hilarious. Um, anywho. Now we're going to walk test the Faraday pull station. I'm blanking out on the model. It's my newer Faraday one compared to my other one. It's a lot newer and a lot better condition. Uh, so I'll put the key in and open. And the panel goes into walk test. So now to then get out of walk test, we maybe put the key in and we backspace out of our walk test. So I think last thing I'm going to show you is the manual fan activation. So normally the fire alarm goes off like this. Uh, yeah, why not? hold on. Wow, I am just all over the place right now. So normally if a fire alarm goes off, You can see the red light comes on indicating that the fan is active. But if we reset, the red light will turn off and the fan turns off. But what we can do is panel is now reset. If one of my other panels goes into alarm and I want to clear out the smoke, I just have to take my simplex duct detector key, put it in and turn. And light will come on, panel will go into supervisory. You acknowledge that and the fan will come on and discharges quite a bit of air and then when you want to turn the fan off because this panel will only do latching supervisories turn the key back to normal and reset the panel and then once panel is reset turns off the fan and you are golden so this is kind of what i've been working on lately why i said Oh, I'm going to be putting out more videos than normal because you guys are on winter break. And then I actually ended up putting out less videos than normal. It's because I've been working on this. So, thank you guys for watching. And, as always, have a wonderful day.